Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X for the Sony PlayStation 2. Okay, as you can see, we're here at the bottom of the Calm Lands in the Gorge area. And we're going to go into, uh, you know, one of the Chambers of the Faith, kind of. It's an optional Chamber of Faith, but, you know, it was on our journey, so we revisited all the others. So we got to revisit this one, man, because those are the rules. Those are the rules. So we're off to see Yojimbo's optional Chamber of the Faith, again. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of stops today, man. Many, many little stops today in this part of Final Fantasy X. Are you ready, man? Well, let's check out the Faith again. It's like he's talking directly to Titus. That's what the messages are now. Uh, yeah, thanks, though. That was good. Good? Good, yeah. Uh, and, uh, I don't know. We got a strength spear, so yay! Good stuff. Thanks for the message, man. This will really help me in battle. I need more than one strength spear from you. Ugh, yo, Jimbo, I don't know. The Stolen Faith. From one of the temples by the Albed? I don't know. I've always wanted to know, like, the whole story about it. You know, I mean, Orin and whoever was saying, you know, that whole, the yeah, Albed stole it to prevent summoners and that, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I want to know, like, what, what, what temple, you know? And, like, don't you really need, like, all the, you know, all the Aeons to defeat Sin? So that's optional now? Or what if, uh, if Freet or uh, Shiva was stolen? You know, would would they be optional? Like, could you still beat Sin then? I mean, did the rules change? I don't know, whatever, man. So anyway, as you can see, we're trekking up towards the uh, ruins of Gagazette. We're going to Gagazette because, you know, we haven't been here in a while since, you know, Seymour wiped out most of the uh, Ronso, and I want to see if any Ronso are left. You know, let's see if anyone's hanging around here, if anyone. Let's have a look-see. Oh, and there is Ronso. Oh, and a familiar face over in the distance. Let's talk with the Ronso. Hey, buddy. My mate died in battle. It was a proud death fit for Ronso. He marched to Farplane with horn held high. Cold are the winds of Gagazette. Tears turn into ice. Ronso must lay tears aside to stand up against sorrow. All Ronso are warriors. Ronso will stay with Mountain. Even young Ronso have mighty horns, greater than any fiend. In snow and ice, this Ronso grow as big as Mountain. We Ronso also wait for calm of Summoner Yuna. Well, at least there's some young Ronso alive and kicking. Many Ronso have fallen to hands of the unsent Seymour. It is fate of Ronso to die in battle, but so few are left. Ronso will guard the mountain to the very last. And this guy, what do you like, the shade? What are you doing over here? Ronso always prepared to fight. Always keep weapons and armor in top shape. Oh, he's selling weapons. Let's see here, okay, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. so this guy's selling that stuff, alright, and buddy boy, the old man is here, we haven't seen this guy in a while, how you doing? Shall I tell you about the spear of days long past, eh? 
I'd love to hear. There is a legend, you know. Just before the horrible sin appeared, a terrible war raged between Bavel and Xanakan. When the armies of Bavel attacked Mount Gagazet, they heard a song echoing across the snowy slopes. It is a song from an other world, they said. The soldiers panicked and ran. Then, as if to pursue the retreating armies, sin appeared. Some time later, scouts from the Vell braved the mountain. On the other side, they witnessed the ruins that had been Zanakan. The city destroyed, not a single soul left standing, gone. In its place, a multitude of the faith had gathered on Gagazet. They were singing a song. It's the song we now call the Hymn of the Faith. And that, as they say, is that. Well, maybe not all of it. What? There's more? There's always more with this guy. Would you like to hear the rest? Let's continue. Rumors flew in the veil about Sin's sudden appearance. They said that the people of Xanakan became the faith that they had called Sin. And that the man responsible was none other than the summoner Yevin, ruler of Xanakan. Yes, the Lord Father of Lady Unleska. On the eve of Xanakan's destruction, Lady Unleska had fled to safety with her husband, Zeon. Later, the two used the final summoning to defeat Sin. Yet the people of the Vell still feared you, Yevin. It was to quell his wrath that they revered him and first spread his teachings. And so were born the temples of Yevon. I suppose it's possible Unaleska had planned it that way from the start. A fair trade. She defeats Sin in exchange for her Lord Father's honor. Of course, there's no proof. No, the facts are lost in the mists of time. And who'd admit Yevon was an enemy of Bavel? You can bet the temples had a hand in covering that one up. And that, as they say, is that. Dude, why didn't you, like, tell us all this crazy stuff, you know, when we first met you on the Meehan High Road? G good lord, man! Ugh. Anything else? Like to hear more, would you? Continue. Let me tell you about the hymn of the faith. It was one Susanakan song, sung in defiance of Bavel. Of course, the Evan clergy of Bavel forbade it. Then, as these things often go, those who disliked Evan began to sing it. The Albed, for instance. The hymn of the faith became the symbol of defiance against Evan. Evan could do nothing but capitulate. They lifted the ban on the song, and spread a new story. They said the hymn was a song sung to soothe the souls of the dead. And so saying, they took the song and made it scripture. That's why today, the hymn is sung all over Spear. You could say that though Zanakam is gone from this world, it lives on in the song. Ah, but look at the time. I've rambled on again. I do love stories, you see. Well, I owe you my gratitude for hearing this old scholar out. Why does this guy know everything? And if he knows everything and so many other people don't, you know, why isn't this guy a teacher? Like, he should be, like, teaching other teachers and then those teachers can teach other people. Like, come on, man. It just seems like he has all the answers, but why? Why does this guy know everything? Why is he so knowledgeable? It's funny how you can, you know, relate that last story of his to, like, real life, kind of, though. It's true. Anyway, we're gonna touch the sphere and board the airship again. Because we're gonna kind of jump to another location. We're gonna go revisiting again. You know, like I said, we have so many stops in this part, man. So many little stops along our way here. The final showdown with Sheen. I say, let's get this show on the road! Mm-hmm. And where are we gonna go? We're gonna go back to Xanarkin Ruins.
Yeah, here we go. Okay, uh, but don't worry, it's not gonna take too long. Thanks to these stupid things, let's see here. We're gonna go to the dome area, and, but then we're gonna skip the dome and we're gonna head on in again, because there's another one of these here. You can see the airship above, it's parked out here waiting for us to do our business, whatever our business may be. So now we don't have to go through all that crap, and I'm just gonna go right in here to where the uh, Xanarkin Cloister of Trials is. Well, why are we going back in here? There's no faith to revisit, not really. Well, we kind of have another mini Cloister of Trials to do. As you can see, these things still light up. So that must mean there's another pattern that we have to uncover to achieve something. Uh, yeah, so if you look at the monitor here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, uh, seven white squares. So we're gonna have to light them up. First room's pretty easy. It's kind of like in a diagonal down slope here. One, two, three. Just like that, so that's three. Three in this room, there's four lit up in the other room. Let's see if I can remember where the four are. Yes, but why are we doing this? Oh! Yeah, that comes back, but there's really no point. There's, there's, there's really no reason for me to go down there. So, knock yourself out with that. Okay, anyway, let's see. The four are... Uh, is this one? Oh, no! Is it the one above? It's the one above. Okay. So I think it's kind of like a kind of like a half circle like a like a horseshoe kind of like pattern thing here. So I think one's here and then it'll curve around this way. Is this another? Okay, and there's one more kind of on the left side then this one. All right. But now I got to go back and get the ooh, get the other 3. So that's four, and then the three in here, that's seven. So this will unlock our last uh, Cloister of Trials, uh, you know, little, little extra goody, little treasure. our last destruction sphere yeah we didn't even have a destruction sphere when we were here last oh, what a pain so yeah you just take that here and you plug it in bada bing bada boom and there you go that gives you your last chest so now we have obtained a chest from every single Cloister of Trials that we've encountered in the game. Just wanna, uh, just wanna announce that though, you know? It's important to announce that. We've uh, tackled every Cloister of Trial and, and got every treasure at the Cloister of Trials. Uh, I think that was a weapon for Yuna, but if it's, I don't know if it's good. Uh, half MP cost isn't bad. That can be useful for like, long, long, annoying, you know, fights, annoying things. <laughs> That's good for annoying stuff. Yeah. When you need a lot of magic. Alright, well, I'm done here. I'm done here, so we're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. Sphere. Board airship. Okay, now we still have a couple more stops here. So let's see, what do we do next? I can do a couple things. There's no real particular order in which I want to do, even though I have some things uh, that I really want to uh, do in this part. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, which order they come in. 
The final show. But I suppose we'll go to uh, another location next. We'll go to Baj Temple. Yes, one of the uh, secret locations I uncovered in the uh, little decoder thing. Uh, we've actually been here before, in case you forgot. But let's go there. Here we go! Oh, yes, now it comes back to you. It's this place. This is the Baj place. It's the ruins, but, uh... Why are we back here, really? You know, what, what are we supposed to do? You can go down here, but you're really supposed to come over here to the edge. What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. I get the picture. All right, let's go. Oh, petty revenge. That's why we're back here. Uh, okay, so for equipment, uh, basically, I'm just going to tell you, you're going to want, like, stone ward and stone protect, I think. And, uh, you know, we're in the water, so you, you don't want Titus's brotherhood on. I got this, and yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm fine. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a battle, and I think you know uh, who's going to be the target. So anyway, we're in here. Let's dive. Dive down. Ah. Are there any chests in here? I... I don't think so. You can kind of see where we're supposed to go, but... I guess we'll just go there. There's no chests. Oh, man! Oh, it's a boss battle! Let's see here. Vulnerable to magic, covered with thick scales. Alright. Oh, let's see, you got an overdrive. What do I use? What should I use here? Wonder water. Will that do anything good? Mighty G! Oh, shit! Okay, I'll take that. I think that gave us haste, but what else, if, if anything, did that give us? Uh, shell, protect, haste. Ah, that's cool. I'm gonna remember that combo. I don't think I... When did I ever use that combo? What was it again? Anyway, let's see here. Uh, so I don't need to use haste with Titus, because we got that already, so I guess, uh... Quick hit! And delay attack, too. Delay attacks and quick hits. I want a lot of turns with my peoples. Oh, there's that stone punch, so yeah, I'm protected. Overdrives, oh, Waka. Man, I, I haven't been doing Blitz, buddy, so we're, we're, we're still limited with our overdrives, but a part of me doesn't care. Alright, let's get the yellow. Oh, that's not yellow. Good enough. Two out of three. That's kind of like a lightning ball there. Use that underwater. All nines. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, so what do we do with Riku now? For the most part in this battle, uh, you know, you're obviously using these three characters, so you're going to want to, like, heal with Riku when you need to heal. I don't really need to heal right now. Oh, no! Oh, we missed! Ha! Fuck you! Ah, oh, Waka, what do we do with you? Well, we might as well use our triple foul. Let's see if that does anything. And he's immune to all of it, I guess. Ah, overdrive for Titus now. Good stuff. There we go. There we are. 
Oh, he's almost dead. Good stuff. Let's mug you again. I am mugging the shit out of you. Kind of reminds me of uh, an inhumanoid. I guess because of the, uh, like, the stomach basket where he can, like, he can engulf characters and, like, keep them in his, like, stomach. It's kind of cool. Anyway, goodbye. You're not going to get that chance because I just killed you. Fast and loose. Good stuff. So, that was a nice victory. So that's why we came back. Mission accomplished. Well, it seems so, but what is that green little square in the corner of the map there? Let's get over there. Maybe there's some goodies. Uh, get over there. Here we go. Oh, looks like a door. This could be cool. Let's check it out. Ah, okay. Good stuff. So let's see. What do we got here? Where are we? What, what's what's hidden in here? This seems like it could be something special, man. Something special. I actually know, and it is, yes. Okay, look at this. Woof, okay. Trippy colors. Well, first things first, there's actually two chests. One over here, and then one on the other side. Yeah, we came in close contact with this thing, so something lit up, and it looks like there's three on this side, three on the other side, six total. And I can't remember exactly. I, I think it has to do, uh, honestly, I, th I think it has to do with the, uh, the chests in all of the temples. I think you need to acquire all of them. I think that's it. All the, uh, all the Chamber of Faiths, you know, the Cloister of Trials, you need to go to all the trials and you need to get the chest. I think it's the chest, every chest from each Cloister of Trials. I think that's it. Anyway, we're gonna light all these up. Takes so long, doesn't it? And one more. And golden. But what awaits us behind this mysterious door? Kinda seems like a chamber of faith. Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? 
It is all right. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone, half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yes. Come, Summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The Dark Aeon, Anima. Destroy sin and my son's obsession with it. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. Ah, oh, ah, Anima. Nice. Yes, I will take your your Aeon. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, we saw Seymour unleash Anima, you know, way back in Luca. So, I mean, if there's an Aeon out there, then it can be obtained. So, it has to be somewhere out there in Spira, and we've obtained it. There you go. Another optional Aeon, yes, and a very powerful one, of course. Good stuff. So, uh, Seymour is, she said half man. What, he's only half a man? Shouldn't it be like half guado and half human? Because like, what, what is he, half male? I, I don't know. Let's, let's not even get into all that for many reasons. Uh, anyway, uh, nighty night. And, uh, oh look, it doesn't give you a view. There's no little space to... You get a view there. That's funny. Anyway, there's no chests and there's nothing else to do here, so goodbye. So yeah, this uh, Baj Temple, the, the main reason to come back here is to obtain the optional Aeon uh, Anima. Anima. And, uh, you know, you gotta light all these up. Uh, if you don't uh, get all those treasures, which I believe is the only thing you need to do, I th I'm pretty sure, uh, then you know, all those won't light up. Like, if I didn't just go to Xanarkind and get that last chest, then one of those things wouldn't have lit up, and the, the door wouldn't have opened, actually. And I would be denied. But I'm not denied. I passed. And hooray. Hooray. Hoorayness. And it's all good, man. It's all good. So let's see. I guess we'll just uh, surface here. And I think there isn't anything else to do here. I can't really do anything else here anyway. I mean, look, you come down here and... What is it, a dead end? I think you can't go back to, uh... The original ruins, or, or can you again? I can't, I can't really totally recall. No, I think it's, I think it's just done here. It doesn't matter, because, uh... Or can we... Oh yeah, we can go back. Oh, here we go. And we can cut through here. But there's no real point. No real point to go back, so we're gonna board the airship. Now, there's kind of another mini stop that we're gonna make here. We're gonna go... The final showdown. Yeah. We're gonna go to the Comlands, actually. A different part of the Comlands. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. So we're going to go back here to do a, a couple of little kind of tiny extra things. Uh, yeah, first time we've been back here kind of at the little station stop here since uh, the last time we were at the Comlands. And 
Oh, look, there's the family. Remember the family from uh, Makalania Woods or whatever? Raw, yeah, that guy. <laughs> what, what are we, uh, is there a fight? Is this a domestic thing? What was that? That little, Rawr! <laughs> with his hands there. Anyway, let's talk to the family. The high priests of St. Pavel do nothing but squabble over politics these days. They've forgotten their duty to us, their people. Pavel is in chaos. Hoodlums walk the streets as openly as any priest. Many have left the city already, and many more will leave, I'm sure. We've always lived by the teachings, but look at us now. My husband and I decided to leave Bavel for our son's sake. Bavel is not a safe place for children anymore. We had nothing but the clothes on our backs when we fled here, but the people here helped us. Would Yevon forgive us for accepting aid from the Albed, I wonder? We have nowhere to turn now. What should we do? We left our house in Bavel. I don't really understand what's going on, but Mom said it was dangerous. I don't care where we go as long as I'm with Mom and Dad. Was that the first time we talked to those three here? I can't remember. So many people. Is anyone over back here? Oh, now I'll bed. Rumor of the airship is spreading. The Yevon clergy is afraid of it, seems like. More and more people are leaving Bavel. The temple's finished, I say. Someone's happy. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to uh, one quick little pit stop here. And all good, Chocobo. Hi there, wanna ride a Chocobo? Yeah, get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, I'll just take this one. <laughs> I was ready to mug this bitch. Uh, yeah, so we can come back to the Comlands and check her out over at the, like, you know, the... the edge of the Comland area and play more little mini Chocobo games. And of course, the... the weapon shop dude, uh, where I'm going to right now, he's here. And of course, you can always do that side quest stuff where you capture, uh, monsters from every single land in the whole goddamn game can't be that many monsters, right? Like, a million? And bring them back here, and he gives you prizes, and you can fight crazy monsters that are really hard and stupid. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you real quick, off the clock, I, off the clock, I came here, I bought a couple of capture weapons, I equipped them, where did I go? Let me tell you where I went. I went to Gagazet, to Mount Gagazet and I captured every enemy at Mount Gagazet. And and that's just not including, uh, you know, the uh, the snowy part, you know, the snowy hills part. No, 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 after, remember where that kind of mini cloister of trials was in Gagazet, you know, where you have to get into the water and like walk around the rocky terrain, like inside the caves? Yes, that part too, that's part of Gagazet. Sometimes, uh, you know, people forget when you're capturing monsters over in that region. That is, that's part of Mount Gagazet too, so you gotta go into the caves. There's, I think, more monsters inside the, the caves of Gagazet than on the, on the snowy mountains. Anyway, so you gotta get the ones in the caves, and then, and then you gotta go into the waters and get the ones swimming around, the little, the fish Gagazet monsters swimming around in the waters. You gotta get them too. So what did I do that? Especially, off, well, I did it off the clock because it's a pain in the ass. You don't want to fucking see that. That's why I did it. So I captured all of them, and I came here. But Dave, why are you doing that? The prize must be pretty awesome. Yeah, it, well, I guess so. It's necessary. So I did that so I could obtain a certain item, which I'm about to get. I've been researching specimens you brought from Mount Gagazet and created one nasty beast. So I obtained Blossom Crown. It's a stupid item I need. Trust me. Want to take a swing at it? The first fight's free. No, no, I can't be bothered, man. Not now. I don't care. Aw, oh, not up to it. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure he's always ready so you can challenge him any time. But not for free. I have to make a living too, you know? And I guess I can show you the monsters. Let's see. Mount Gagazet. So these are the monsters here. Uh, 
Ah, yeah, and these three down here, those are the... The swimming, you know, sea monsters that I had to fight in the caves. Pain in the ass. Exit, so I'm done with you. I got that blossom crown and I'm good. So now we're gonna kind of make another stop. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get to our next uh, destination here because we're here now and why not? That's what we're gonna do. <sighs> Dude, we, we're really almost done now, let me tell you. Uh, we're gonna get to our next destination and on the next part, uh, you know, we're going to have some stuff to do. And then after that, we're going to go to uh, the last location. Well, actually, second to last location on our uh, airship uh, location map. And it's another side quest, and it's crazy. It's a crazy one. And then after that, man, then it's finally game time. It's time to go. Anyway, you can probably tell where I'm going since you, you know, we already kind of went there already in one of the last parts. We're gonna go to that temple with uh, Lady Belgamine. She's there and she always wants to fight, you know her. She wants to challenge Yuna, it's what she does. Why? I don't know. And you know, there's gonna be fights. There's gonna be some fighting. We're gonna fight. And there's gonna be battles, obviously. And the battles are gonna take minutes. So obviously that's gonna be on the next part. Am I being straightforward about that enough? Save Sphere here. Might as well save and stop here then. Good stuff, guys. All right, I'm calling it a wrap right now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and, you know, leave me your comments. Rate. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X. I will see you guys next time. I am out.